Hi, I'm Calvin. And I'm back for another Healthy Helping of Christ. I thank you for coming back visiting Calvin's Kitchen. Um, the topic I have for you tonight is really, is really a serious topic. A lot of topics I make light of or, or jokes about, but this is a serious topic. Uh, t tonight's topic is really, is really more about, about civic duty. I believe that Christians and the church have a duty. The story tonight is this. We're Christians. We should be thinking about the greater good, no matter what the situation, how the situation, where the situation, the greater good. Um, we have civic obligations. One of these civic obligations is voting. You may think voting is silly. You may not like the candidates that are running. What I wanted you to understand tonight though is that not voting because you don't like the candidates is just like giving away your vote to somebody else. I'm going to show you a video. Uh, <laughs> this video was, I, was found on a, a CCTV.com. Uh, it was a, Farrak a video of Farrakhan, Minister Farrakhan. Um, he was talking about Trump and this year's voting. Um, I want you to watch this video, and after it's over, I want to give you a couple of words, all right? Take a look. If you look at Mr. Um, Trump, Mr. Trump is um, a businessman, certainly. He's done great things in in the business world got a lot of money from his dad that helped oh yeah his dad was a nice fella he ran a little dusty work and like like he like millions of dollars we like, start with that That's like good. like mr joe kennedy did that's right you know moves, right? white mm -hmm. folk are allowed to be criminals mm -hmm. and pass on money to their children to become clean. Mm -hmm. That's what Michael Corleone was trying to do. But Frank Lucas and none of our brothers who've done great in the drug culture, they were not allowed to have any money to pass on to their children that they could build on the era of the father that made something better for the children. But Mr. Mr. Uh, Trump is tearing away the skin of the onion of white civility. And the more he pulls the skin of that onion back, he's beginning to show something in the character of the whites that follow him. That they don't care what he says. He could say one thing this minute, another thing the next minute, and you could see that the man has a little problem, a little problem, but he is exacerbating the race situation in America. And I will guarantee you, if he becomes president, if he becomes president, he'll take America exactly where America is heading. He'll take you there on a rocket ship. How can a man say, he's not a thug, he's a diplomat, he's a president, we'll go into Iraq and we'll just take the oil. See, that's the thug coming out. That's that part of the nature of the beast that's manifesting. Well, if he becomes your president, you'll be just like him. And you know what the scripture says? Pharaoh was talking before his demise and he openly said me and my people are wicked and when you get leadership that is not rooted in justice then they begin to make the people just like themselves be careful america you're headed into the abyss of hell and if you make a mistake 
in choosing your leaders, maybe you'll go there faster. So, the video. <laughs> First of all, Minister Farrakhan is doing a strong works in the black community. He's in, trying to enlighten people to be conscious of who they are. I have nothing against Minister Farrakhan. I applaud him and all his works. The reason I say that is this. I really want us all to understand something. That it's your obligation as an American, as a Christian, to vote. It's your obligation to take time out of your busy schedule and find out about the candidates that are running. There's no reason with the with the with the way society is today, with the way we have our our uh, internet and, and 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 information highway, that you cannot find out who represents your best interest. And that's what voting is about. Representing your best interest. It's not about color. It's not about Republican, Democrat. It's not about, it's about who is gonna move things in your best interest. You can't vote for me because you, you don't know what my interests are. I tell everybody, you don't vote for a person just because your mom voted for them or your dad voted for them. You vote for that person because you have some idea about what their interests are, how they did, and who's the best candidate. I am a de Democrat. Yes, I am. Um, and But would I vote for a Republican? If I thought he was the best person for the job, yes. In this case, <laughs> I'm voting Democrat. <laughs> but... <laughs> But that's that's just me. Um, I, I I I plead with everybody out there. Take time in this Republican season to to think about who you're voting for. Think about what their running idealism is, and think about how it's going to re reflect on you. Because that person you put in, in office is there for four years. Not one, four. So whatever you, whoever you put in there is in there for four years. At the end of that four-year term, they may even get a, a second chance. But they're in there for four years. Now, four years to us may be a long time. But four years is nothing when it comes to actually making change in the United States. What I want you to do, though, is I want you to take time out. Find out who you're voting for. Go over your options. Think about your best interests. Look at the candidates as well as you can, as best you can. And if you can't do it on your own, find someone to help you look at the candidates. If you're 18 and above, vote. If you're 18 and above, vote. Especially, especially saints. Black America, vote. This is not a time for us as a people to be sitting on our hands and, and, and waiting for somebody else to make a decision like this for us. This is a time we must stand up and make decisions, smart decisions, not decisions just because you're of your skin color, not because of your, of your, of your political uh, 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 agendas but think about the actual candidate think about what they're going to be bringing to the table for you I guess say this Calvin's Kitchen why well I believe that we as Americans have an obligation I enjoy being saved I love God to, with all my heart, my wife, my family, I, I love them. But I have an obligation as a saint, as a man, as an Afro-American. I have an obligation 
to see this country be as great as it is and better. I ask you today, take take a minute out. Take an hour. You can you can it's so much information out there you can get. Learn about the candidates. Read. Go on online. You know, everyone has a phone. Go, you can go online on your phone. Find out about the candidates. A lot of the stuff that uh, uh, Minister Farrakhan said was really from his point of view. And he made some great points. But you have to see the state of America today and see what's best for them for tomorrow. I'm Calvin. This is Calvin's Kitchen. I hope you were blessed by the word. And as always, it's keeping it hot, boy! Ah!